Gratitude places you in the energy field of plentitude. Glow with gratitude and see how awe and joy will make their home in you. When you see the world that God sees, you see a world that is loving, compassionate, and filled with individuals who live together in harmony and peace. Do you press the pause button, the until button in life by saying, I can't be happy until? Press the play button and rejoice in the nowness of the moment. Stop looking outside for help. You're sourced and fueled and funded by a renewable resource, which is within you. It never runs out. It is your essence. It's your life. When you make genuine contact with your inner spirit, there is an inner joy, an inner peace, that takes over. Life is not against me. Life is absolutely on my side. It's not the world's job to make you happy. It's your job to bring happiness into the world. We are unlimited beings. We have no ceiling. The capabilities, talents, gifts and power that are within every single individual on this planet, are unlimited. Grow deep roots to harvest rich fruit. When your roots run deep, you cannot help but bear the fruit of the Spirit. A person all wrapped up in themselves makes for a mighty small package. Don't look for your dreams to become true, look to become true to your dreams. The enlightened give thanks for what most people take for granted. As you begin to be grateful for what most people take for granted, the vibration of gratitude makes you more receptive to good in your life. Within our core self is an indelible blueprint of unrivaled individuality, the singular being that each of us exists to express. In this three-dimensional movie called, Life, there are no stand-ins, body doubles or understudies, no one can fill in for us by proxy realization of this truth alone eliminates the need to imitate, conform, limit, or betray our loyalty to the originality of self. Imagine the relief of removing your carefully crafted masks fashioned by societal forms of conditioning and instead responding to what comes into your experience directly from your authentic self. One of the first principles to honor in your relationship with yourself is to respect and trust your own inner voice. This form of trust is the way of the heart, the epitome of well-being. You are a divine and perfect spiritual idea, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Every problem is a question trying to be asked. Every question is an answer seeking to be revealed. Stand fully in the now moment with gratitude, enthusiasm, openness, and readiness to respond to life as it greets you and you can break yourself free from your hereditary patterns, cultural codes, social beliefs, and prove once and for all that the power within you is greater than the power that's in the world. I believe that you're great, that there's something magnificent about you. Regardless of what has happened to you in your life, regardless of how young or how old you think you might be, the moment you begin to think properly. This something that is within you, this power within you that's greater than the world, it will begin to emerge. It will take over your life. It will feed you, it will clothe you, it will guide you, protect you, direct you. Sustain your very existence, if you let it. Now that is what I know, for sure. The pain pushes until the vision pulls, you are at a choice point in every moment of each circumstance, each activity, spoken word and thought. The external world is a canvas where you paint with the colors of your soul. Stop the mental chatters about what's wrong and what's not complete. 
there is a presence of love that is seeking to express itself through you. Take your attention away from what you don't want, and all the emotional charge around it, and place your attention on what you wish to experience. The answer to any challenge you are having has nothing to do with God's willingness to help. It has to do with your acceptance of how the infinite is already active within you, how it has already placed within you all that you need to solve and dissolve inner conflict through conscious communion with the self. Be a beneficial presence on the planet. Give your gifts. Boldly go where no woman or no man has ever gone before. Integrity is about being integrated with the spiritual values of the universe. It is also about being happy, because happiness and joy mean that you're coming into integrity with your soul. The universe corresponds to the nature of your song, you can start with nothing. And out of nothing, and out of no way, a way will be made. When you're in the stays of the victim, you don't really touch reality. You're touching your thoughts about reality, pain pushes until vision pulls. When we embrace challenge as an evolutionary accelerator, we realize it's like a grain of sand in an oyster, we can expect a pearl to follow shortly. When you make the you turn to the universal presence and apply the universal practices and principles, your life is changed. Do you live in a minefield or a garden? When we live in a minefield mentality, we explode with the weeds of worry, doubt, fear, lack and limitation. Choose to cultivate your inner garden. Nowadays, being connected means 24-7 availability. Emailing, texting, twittering, calling, keeping one's website and Facebook status current seem essential to being and remaining relevant in the world. In addition to the positive impact of globally. Interconnecting humanity, the information era is also contributing to the creation of a high-tech, low-touch society. It is impacting language, the publishing world, education, and social revolts. Neurologists and other pundits, including Nicholas Carr in his Atlantic article, Is Google Making Us Stupid? Point out the paradoxical downsides of not setting healthy boundaries or applying discipline to how we engage technology. Some have gone so far as to suggest that it is making us spiritually stupid by keeping us too distracted to participate in spiritual practices. But how about this, can using technology with mindfulness lead to beneficial social and spiritual connection? When we shift from negatively complaining to positively affirming, conditions change. Then complaining is no longer the operative law in our life freedom is. When we deal with the word unfolding, we're coming to an understanding that we're not in this world to get anything. We are in this world to let something unfold from within us. We are here to awaken to the truth that the presence is never an absence, the gratitude groove softens the heart, opens the mind, causing even seemingly ordinary things to become sacred. The universe wants you to have more than enough, so that it can deliver its gifts through you.